On this episode of Ready Academy, your buddies will learn about the different kinds of adjectives by making a DIY marble maze with Chucky. Hi, mommies! This is Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, where we believe that learning can be fun, meaningful, and exciting. Here at Galileo, we provide your little buddies with learning experiences about the world through creative, imaginative, and meaningful activities. Welcome to our classroom! In today's lesson, we will be making a marble maze with the help of our Chucky Packs in order to learn about adjectives and its kinds. For this activity, we will be needing tray, double-sided tape, scissors, scratch paper, markers, marble, and Chucky Packs. Before we start, feel free to enjoy drinking Chucky with your buddy. We will be using this in today's session. Afterwards, empty, wash, and dry the pack. And when it dries, let's lift the flaps up, the ones on top, and also the ones at the bottom. And cut both ends, including the flaps, with our scissors. But please be careful in using your scissors. And when we're done cutting, it's going to look like this. Now these will be the tubes that our marble will go through. You can let your buddies know that adjectives are words that are used to describe nouns. And it has different kinds. So I'm going to get a little piece of colored paper and write down the different kinds of adjectives on them. The first kind that we have is the color. So adjectives could help us describe the color of an object. It could be brown shoes, or yellow table, or even black hair. Let's write color on this piece of paper. Color. Adjectives could also help us describe the shape of a noun or of an object. It could be the rectangular table, or rectangular pack, or even a circular ball. We have here the shape. Aside from those, adjectives could also help us tell the size, height, and weight of an object or of a noun. It could tell us if it's big or small, long or short, or heavy and light. Now we have here the size, height, and weight. Next, it could also describe the length and distance of a noun. So it could be far or near from us, or it could be long or short. Length and distance. And last of the kinds for today is the quality. Adjectives could tell us if an object is smooth or rough, or even if it's soft or hard. Quality. Now it's time to attach the kinds of adjectives onto the top of our Chucky Tetra Pack. Now let's use a double-sided tape and scissors. But please be careful in handling your scissors. Let's start by attaching the paper that says quality on top of our Chucky Tetra Pack. Quality. And next, we can attach the one that says length and distance. To make our maze more fun and engaging, we could change up the side where we will put the name of the adjective. So maybe this time we could put it on this side. Length and distance. Next, let's put the adjective that says shape. Now we have the shape. Let's continue on with attaching the size height, and weight. Now we're ready with a tube that says size, height, and weight. And lastly, we will be putting the color. Color. Now these tubes will be put on a tray to make our own maze. 
Did you know that grade schoolers grow and develop at a fast pace? Kaya pagdating sa baon nila, bigyan mo sila ng love tilang chucky. Milk siya, tilang chocolate, with the nutrients your child needs for school and play. Minsan lang sila bata, ipabaon mo na. Now that we're done preparing the tubes for our maze, let's get a tray and attach it onto this to create our own maze. Let's start with attaching the length and distance. Let's find a good spot for it. Maybe it's right over here. Next, we have the size, weight, and height. And I think that could go right over here. Next, let's have the quality. Hmm. I think it could go right in between them. And next, we have the tube that says shape. And let's put it right over here. And last one, we have the collar. And it goes here. Now we're done with our maze. It's time to play. To play our marble maze, you first have to say a sentence containing an adjective to your little buddy. Let them identify the adjective and its kind. And when they have done so successfully, let them spot it on our maze. And let a marble go through that tube by tilting our tray. For example, our first sentence for today is, The table is heavy. The word heavy is an adjective that pertains to the weight of the table. So where is the adjective that says weight? And the tube is right over here. Now let's try letting the marble go through this tube. There we go! It has run through our weight tube. Now let's try playing our marble maze with the use of other sentences. The next sentence that we have is, The chucky pack is rectangular. Rectangular pertains to the shape of our chucky pack. So where is the adjective that says shape? And here it is. Let's make our marble go through the tube that says shape. There we go! It went through the shape tube. Next in our list is, I am wearing a yellow shirt. Yellow is an adjective that pertains to the color of my shirt. Let's spot where is the color in our maze. And here it is. Let's tilt the tray and let the marble go through our color tube. Oh, there! It went through the color tube. And the last sentence that we have is, I have long hair. The word long is an adjective that pertains to the length of my hair. Where is length? It's right over here. Let's tilt the tree. And it has gone through the length tube. Tilting the tray relates to how fast the marble goes. The bigger the angle the tray is from the table tells us how fast the marble will roll. Because there is an invisible force called gravity that pulls the marble downwards. So it takes a lot of concentration to tilt the tray onto the right angle so that our marble will not miss its target. But what if there are two or three adjectives in a sentence? Did you know that there is a sequence in arranging the kinds of adjectives? The first kind that must appear in our sentence is the size, height, and weight, followed by the length and distance, quality, shape, and lastly, the color. Now let's try it! My adjectives for today are yellow and big. Which adjective should come first in a sentence? Let's remember our list. In that list, it says that size must come first before the color. Then let's ask our buddies to create their own sentences using these two adjectives. My sentence for today is, 
the Chucky pack is big and yellow. Size. Then color. And there you have it! A fun and creative way to allow your buddies to learn about adjectives. For more ideas, head on to the Ready e Academy playlist at the Nestle Philippines channel where you will see fun and meaningful activities updated every week. This has been Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program and I'll see you again in the next Ready e Academy. My chocolatey buddy! Nestle. Good food, good life.